Hey guys, Liz Baby Toe here. Um, I am in the middle of listening to an audio series by Kevin Trudeau called What You Wish Is Your Command. And um, listened to it last night for a couple hours and wrote three pages of notes. Uh, if you know me, I'm a big note taker. So I wanted to go over some of the um, things that really stood out to me. So this is kind of my review of the first part of that series. I highly recommend it. It's an audio series for people like, hey Marianne, hey Liz. People like me, um, audios um, tend to work better than reading a book. I do read books, but I'd also love to listen to audios. So one of the questions he asked was, um, and he, he recommends that you ask this with your business partners, with the people that you love, is to ask them the simple question, are you happy with where you are in your life? Okay, so if the answer is yes, then that's fabulous and awesome. But if the answer is no, then the next question um, you ask is, so, what things do you want to be different? Okay, so what things do you want to be different? You don't necessarily have to answer here in the comments if you feel comfortable enough, you, you, you can. But I challenge you today, if you are not happy with where you are in your life, I want you to write down the things that you want to be different because these are your whys, okay? So write down the things you want to be different. And the next statement or question is, if you want things in your life to be different, you are going to have to change things in your life. The old, the old saying, if you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to keep give, um, getting what you're getting. Okay, so then the next piece of the puzzle is to say, what are you willing to give up to learn the skills or to learn how to make that change okay so what are you willing to give up and he said most of the time thanks for sharing Liz most of the time you have to give up something that you really love like watching TV that is like an epidemic in our society right now seriously it's the pro it's programming of the wrong kind I mean people are constantly like I'm so addicted to XYZ show on Netflix I binged all weekend and then on Monday or Sunday night they start posting about how upset and sad and sick they are that they're going to their job that they hate on Monday when they invested their time in a TV series all weekend when they could have been investing in a second job or investing in personal development or investing in a home-based business or whatever. You see what I'm saying? So what are you willing to give up to learn this? Some of the uh, things he mentioned were like sports, like golf, TV, travel, games, going out, a hobby like, you know, sewing or Doing, be, doing crafts on Pinterest or whatever. So what are you willing to give up? That's one piece of the puzzle. And the second, second part is, what is your willingness to accept the change? So that means that you have to change your behavior and you have to get outside of your comfort zone and you have to be willing to do something different and get rid of the excuses. And you must have both. You must have both. You must have willingness to give up something that you love to learn the new skill or and you have to have the willingness to accept change so and that feeds into boom that's right so that feeds into the next piece and that is being teachable being teachable or coachable so do you listen do you listen to counsel do you ask for help or do you think you know everything about everything? So um, one of the things I'm constantly doing is um, diving into personal development like this course. Um, I read an average of three books a month and I listen to audios every time I'm in the car. While I'm working out, I'm listening to audios. While I'm cleaning the house, I'm listening to audios. Before I go to bed at night for an hour or so, I listen to audios. So I'm constantly feeding my mind. And that's why I have so many ideas and so much inspiration is because I am um, I'm planting, I'm fertilizing the soil, okay, so to speak. So 
are you teachable are you coachable I'll tell you as a business leader the one person I I I have decided I will not work with is someone who's not coachable so if someone um, you know if I'm mentoring with someone and um, uh, they do opposite of what I suggest or they just simply don't implement the system that needs to be implemented I stop working with them I stop feeding into them so being teachable is the baseline for it all so number one are you teachable I kind of went backwards here are you teach if you're not happy with where you are in your life right now number one are you teachable are you coachable if you are find a mentor to help you okay number two what are you gonna be willing to give up to learn the skill needed to make that change and number three are you willing to accept that change? Are you going to go back to your old ways? Okay, so that's it. Um, I will, um, let me see if there's anything else. Let me check my notes real quick. Ooh, 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 this was super good. This is the last thing I'm going to say. Okay, he said this and it just like was profound to me. Okay, so uh, if you're saying no I'm pretty happy where I'm at you know I, I, I don't mind driving a 10 year old car I'm comfortable you know our house is tiny but it's so cozy and I'm totally happy with what I have I don't want to stress myself out because I'm happy with right where I am I hear that a lot and honestly I've said that in certain areas of my life myself and he said this and this was kind of like a profound statement to me and really made me do some soul searching last night he said sometimes we justify why we don't want things like a bigger house bigger car more income because we don't believe we can get it I'm gonna read that again because that's really something that I want you guys to ponder sometimes we justify why we don't want things because we just don't believe we can get them so something to kind of you know let ruminate in your brain today so I hope um, you enjoyed that and I'll be um, posting some more um, reviews as I continue through the program okay guys have a wonderful weekend bye bye